and, as with any language, it derives its power from the idea behind it, the derivative. The derivative is to kinematics what the wheel is to travel, a simple yet very effective means for getting from one place to another. And to get just the right perspective of what else a derivative is, nothing works better than a little exercise. To begin with, a derivative doesn't apply only to a body in horizontal motion, nor for that matter, only to a body in vertical motion. Up, down, any which way, a derivative is the rate of change of any function at any exact point or instant. As illustrated by Galileo's law of falling bodies, speed is the derivative of distance. But it's more than that. A derivative can represent the rate of change of anything. For example, the population density of dolphins in relation to increasing or decreasing water temperature. Or the rate of change in the volume of a balloon versus its surface area or even the rate of change in the price of a pizza with respect to its size. Clearly then, the concept of the derivative goes far and wide. But the mechanical process of the derivative, differential calculus, needs a practical approach, or the concept goes nowhere fast. Eventually, without the rules of differentiation, the simple concept of the derivative becomes an uphill struggle. In the long run, it helps to pick up a few more definitions along the way. <laughs>